I'm fucking grateful that I got belted. I'm not here fucking judging anyone or telling people that they need to parent differently or that my parents did the wrong thing or anything like that. I'm taking responsibility. I'm showing up for myself. I'm putting my fucking hand up and going, hey, it's not fucking anyone's responsibility for them to come and fix me, for them to help me become successful. It's my fucking responsibility. I look back. I reflect. I look at it. I'm the one living with my fucking self for the rest of my life. It's up to you. I'm Luke, and you're listening to the Luke Mind Power Podcast. Welcome to another episode on the Luke Mind Power Podcast, guys. What's up? How you doing? Hope you're doing amazing. It's a blessing to be alive. I want to welcome everybody who is tuning in uh, on Instagram as well. Uh, you would be hearing this about two or three weeks early because you've subscribed to my Instagram channel. Uh, time is flying, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm I'm busy as freaking. You know what's the right way to say? It? I say you say busy as hell, but hell's not fucking busy. We don't live there anyway. Our purpose in our life is to create heaven on earth and to to create a life that we don't want to escape from. And I think that's one of the challenges for many of us in our life is that we're constantly escaping. We're constantly running away from the truth, and that the, the truth it will set you free. And and I guess that's the the great question to ask yourself right now in this in this episode as you're listening in and tuning in is like, what am I running from? What am I escaping from? You know, uh, is it a toxic relationship that I'm in? That uh, you know, I'm suppressing my feelings and emotions by drinking, by taking drugs, by uh, sleeping around. What are you doing that's uh, causing you to like run away? Sometimes we were just uh, stuck. You know, we feel like there's no escape. We're scared of what people are going to think of us if we make decisions that are going to benefit us, which is a real shame because that also shows the lack of confidence that we have within ourselves to be able to make the right fucking decisions in our life so that actually we change our life. And, and that's why I say, are you living your fears or are you living your dreams? And Les Brown says that I've been listening to him for the last, uh, you know, fucking six years since I started this journey. And, and he says, challenge your fears, ladies and gentlemen. You know, a person who risks is free. You got to take the risk, you know, like you got to challenge your fears. You got to look those fears in the face and, and go for it. This is the thing that we're scared of. You know, we're afraid. You know, it was uh, a couple of days ago I went uh, ice skating. You know, I, I met some uh, world champion figure skaters at the gym here in Dubai where I live. And uh, and they said, hey, you should come down to, to the Dubai ice ring. Uh, we do coaching there and, and we, we train people to, to ice skate, you know. So I did that and I knew it would be out of my comfort zone. But then again, it, there was a lot of fear. It was amazing actually to experience it because while I'm on the ice, uh, all I was thinking about was I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall, you know. So it was a great way to become aware of like your fears, the way that your mind works and um, – and I'll just say I'm a natural, you know, I didn't, I, I stacked it a few times, but didn't actually fall on my, on my face or my hands or on my back or anything like that, you know, but um, yeah, I felt, I felt like I had really good balance, you know, and, and I'm like, you know, if I do this once a week, I'll get good at it. You know, I'll, I'll become better and better and better. And that's part of your growth. So for example, one of the areas that I struggled with, and you're watching this on YouTube and you can comment. Um, and if you're on Instagram or whatever platform you're watching this on right now, and you can leave a comment, then let me know if this resonates and uh, let me know what it is that you feel like you've been struggling with in your life so far. Because uh, one of the things that I was struggling with was speaking my truth, standing up for myself, communication, you know, like actually being able to express myself uh, with what it is that was actually happening within me. You know, so if I was uh, bullied, for example, or if someone, you know, pushed me or slapped my head or, you know, uh, called me a name or, or told me to shut up or did something that felt like it was against myself, my sovereignty, for example, or was abusive to me, you know, I would stay quiet, you know, and that was the big fear. I was living in such an insecure, inferior, low self-esteem, low self-confidence state of being. You know, when I would look at myself because of my physical appearance, you know, this is the whole pain point for me. Like my physical appearance, you know, I was, I, I grew up. It's almost like my body was kind of like delayed on purpose. You know, it didn't grow up. You know, it's like I didn't step into like manhood and become an adult like or become this man that I am today, like the time that everybody else was becoming, you know, a man. Like I even like facial hair, like my facial hair was uh, taking its time to, to to come out on my face. Some some men don't even have facial hair. It's just the gym, whatever it is, you know. But so these little parts of myself, but I became very insecure, you know, because I was observing other people and how they were growing up and, and, and how they looked 
And for myself, you know, there was so much judgment from my own mind, but then coupled with like the validation of, of, of people's opinions and their words to make a judgment on my physical appearance of how I looked. You know, if I'm skinny, if I'm lanky, if I'm lean, uh, if I don't kind of, if I stand, you stand out, right? Because you, you're different. You know, you're not the normal, you know, size, the normal weight, size, height, whatever it is. So then people are saying things like, you, you know, you're skinny or you're too skinny or you need to eat some more food, put some weight on. Uh, it's other people's opinions of you uh, that then create the way that you think and feel and believe about who it is that you are. So that was one of my struggles and my pain points that I continued to have to live with. It's the world itself that is conditioning us. Like people are looking a specific way, people are being a specific way. And if you don't fit into that, that mold of like what everybody else looks like, for example, even though we're all different, but I'm saying like physical appearance, you know, like height, size, weight, all that kind of stuff then you feel like an outcast. You feel like you don't fit in. You you feel different, you know? And then people calling you names makes you even feel more different. It's it's like, you know, they're really highlighting, getting a highlighter and going, hey, look, look at Luke, 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 highlight, highlight, highlight. Too skinny, too lanky, too tall, like all that shit. That, for me, led to real deep insecurities, low self-esteem. I didn't fucking believe in myself. You know, I didn't have any confidence. And that transpires into like failure, into the lack of belief in yourself, into the lack of knowing who you are, into the lack of not feeling like you're good enough. And then this is one of the major, major keys, guys, as to why you don't step into your greatness and you don't become successful in life. You know, confidence is something that attracts abundance, okay? If you don't have confidence in yourself, it's a, one of the reasons why you're not living your dreams and you're not successful. You know, abundance is something that is attracted to the person that you become. You have to evolve out of this fear, scarcity, insecurity, low self-esteem, low self-confidence inferior way of feeling and being you know you can't expect to become successful to attract abundance to make a lot of money but you're living in this shrunken fucking dark little fucking box like i'm scared you know like and this is where we're coming from this fucking insecure little child you know this 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 version of us that's that's like hasn't been heard, hasn't been loved enough, hasn't been given enough attention, hasn't been supported, hasn't been, has been told to shut the fuck up, has been belted with a fucking leather belt, has been put in the fucking corner and said, fucking speak when you're spoken to. Otherwise, don't open your mouth. Like, this is what we have to under fucking stand, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking share this podcast with everyone that you fucking know so they can wake up if they're living fucking their shittest life because a lot of the pain that we haven't healed from is from our childhood, which we haven't fucking done enough research on to understand why the fuck we're fucking scared and we're running away. This is what I've fucking been through, what I've fucking experienced in my own life. And many of us have been the same shit, you know? You say, what's my trauma? Well, fuck, maybe I was traumatized because I was fucking belted with a leather belt because I was fucking put on the bed and fucking smacked how many fucking times. And I'm not saying discipline is not fucking good and I'm not fucking blaming my fucking parents either. I'm fucking grateful that I got belted. And that's part of life. That's what I went through. I'm not here fucking judging anyone or telling people that they need to parent differently or that my parents did the wrong thing or anything like that. I'm taking responsibility. I'm showing up for myself. I'm putting my fucking hand up and going, hey, it's not fucking anyone's responsibility for them to come and fix me, for them to help me become successful. It's my fucking responsibility. I look back. I reflect. I look at it. I'm the one living with my fucking self for the rest of my life. It's up to you. 
to show up for yourself and go, well, what, what can I learn from what I've fucking been through? Why am I feeling this this way? Why haven't I evolved and expanded? What am I allowing? What, what kind of opinions of other people are coming into my own mind and conditioning me to make me think and feel a, a specific way about myself, which is not really true, truly who I am, but it's fucking what they are saying that I am. And so that is what I became. I became everything that what people fucking judged and called me because of the lack of confidence within myself. Does that make sense? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Like how valuable is this information that I'm sharing with you? Like share this podcast with all your friends. Help them understand that the shit that they've been through has caused them and is causing them to live on such a low frequency and hence why you're not in control of your life. You're not attracting the relationships that you should be because you're not the best version of yourself. You want fucking better? Become fucking better. You want to attract amazing people in your life? Are you amazing yourself? Do you feel amazing yourself? Do you feel powerful and extraordinary? If you don't, there's a reason why you're fucking tolerating and settling for less. Tolerating fucking shit. Because you have that fear. It's a shit way of thinking, feeling within yourself. You got it. And it's a process to break through. It's a process to break out of it. Hence why I had to go through the journey myself. And that's why I'm sharing this shit on the podcast all the time. That's why I'm working with every single person that wants to work with me, whether it's with my group coaching clients or privately, because it's breaking through. It's surrounding yourself with this kind of, kind of undeniable, unfucking breakable, unstoppable fucking energy. You know, we need this to be, to, to keep us pushing forward, to, to keep moving forward, to, to feel this, this, this power within ourselves because we all have it. But it's all mental. It's all your mind. It's the way that you think and the way that you think then affects the way that you feel because your thoughts are energy. You've heard me say this so many times, but I'll keep repeating myself. Your mind has been infiltrated with other people's opinions and experiences and negative experiences and things that you've been through in the past for so many freaking years, time and time and time and time again, that's just become a habit of you condemning yourself. Stupid things like I'm my own worst enemy. You're just your own worst enemy because you've been through so much bullshit in your life and negative experiences and people's opinions constantly judging you and making you feel like you're not good enough. And so over time, you've become fucking habitual to fucking talking shit about yourself, which is not even who you fucking are. It's just the way that your mind thinks now. And now you've thought that thought over and over and over and over and over and over again. And so now what happens is you created this freaking story about yourself that you're completely unconscious that you're even fucking saying it. I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. I'm not capable. I can't change. Maybe this is all there fucking is. You know, and Dean Graziosi said it fucking well fucking five years ago when I started doing this work. He said the only thing that's stopping you from that next level of life is the bullshit story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't fucking have it. And it is. It's a fucking bullshit story. But it came from somewhere. Came from some experience, came from some fucking shit relationship, came from some person that was hurt themselves, that was just projecting their own fucking insecurities and, and feelings onto you. And so now over time, because of your experiences in the past, the situations, you've get, it's all in your fucking head now. And so that's now become your fucking way of thinking. It's a fucking neural pathway that was created in your own fucking mind. Mm. Yeah, let, let it sink in for a moment. Let's take a, take a breath, uh, take a deep breath for like the next 30 seconds and just chill out. So you're listening to the Luke Mind Power podcast. It's a blessing to be alive. I'm very happy and grateful that I didn't give up on myself and that I'm here with you. I want to talk about how I express myself for a moment there because I know that many of us have been uh, verbally abused as children. Many people can be triggered by the way that I exp express myself. Uh, a good coach will trigger you, okay? Okay. If you're working with somebody as a mentor or a coach and you're not being triggered, you're not going to grow. Your triggers are your teachers, okay? But just know that when I communicate, I communicate from a place of love and my purpose and intention is, as I say in my uh, events when I'm speaking on stage, I'm here to unlock your greatness. 
I'm here to wake you up to your greatness. And when we are triggered, it's an opportunity for us to delve deeper into our own emotional intelligence and the way that our body is reacting because it's creating an awareness of something that needs to be brought to your attention, something that needs to be looked at, something that, that we need to process, heal from. And I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that the more that I have faced these uncomfortable circumstances and situations and feelings, the more that I've been able to grow. And so it's actually whether it's journaling, whether it's communication and speaking to people who you feel have triggered you or you've been triggered because of the noise that's come out of their body or the word that they've said that caused you to feel triggered or insecure because of a previous or past experience where somebody continuously called you that specific word or name. And now that has been brought up in a memory and your memory is so powerful because it's PTSD, right? It's a trauma and it's something that's reacting. And this is something I know so well about because ladies and gentlemen, I was fucking living with this all my life and I didn't understand my fucking body. I didn't understand the reaction that it was that was happening. I didn't understand why my body was reacting, going into fight or flight. I didn't really un understand why I'd live in so much fear all the time. And so I would be always constantly triggered and triggered and triggered and triggered and triggered. And I had to stand up for myself. I had to start to speak my truth, even when I was nervous, even when I was shaking. Speak your truth, even if your voice shakes. When you learn to love yourself, you'll start putting yourself first. And when you start loving yourself, you'll start speaking your truth even when you're nervous, even when your voice shakes, even when you're shaking. You're like, oh my gosh, I need to talk. I need to talk. Like when you learn to love yourself, you'll get the courage to go, you know what? This is something that I need to express. I can't hold it in. Every time you hold in stuff that needs to come out, you're just continuing to start a war with yourself. And I said, you know what? No more wars with myself. I just want peace. And the only way for me to cultivate peace within myself is for me to release, let out, communicate. Whether people judge me, whether people hate on me, whether they don't understand me, my responsibility is to have my own back and to respect myself and to respect my feelings, respect my emotions, understand myself. Ladies and gentlemen, the healing that has happened in my life, in my family, because I communicated, because maybe it was not just all of, always about me, because there's been communications and, and situations that have occurred in my growth and journey that have brought my sisters closer to me, that has brought my brother-in-laws closer to me because of my ability to say, hey, this is how it felt when you said this to me. And then what, what it's done is my communication has opened up their hearts for them to communicate with me, to let me know how I made them feel or how, how they have experienced life as well. You know, this deeper vulnerability. Vulnerability is a superpower. This is where you actually heal. heal. You know, everything that you reveal, you heal. But many of us are so scared of what other people are going to think of us and this confrontation like people are going to fucking judge us and they're going to hate us and people are going to leave us because we stand up for ourselves. And it's in standing up for yourself is where you really liberate yourself, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why I've grown so much. That's why I'm in so much superpowered confidence because I chose to stop being quiet. And when there was something that needed to be said or shared, I took it upon myself to say, I love me so much that I'm not willing to be quiet anymore and I need to communicate about this. Powerful shit, man. I, that's why I'm here now, because I said no more. I say yes to me and the rest is fucking history. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a blessing to spend some time with you on this podcast episode. I hope that you loved it. I hope that you share it with your friends so you help them wake up. I hope that you understand and appreciate that the energy that I exude is pure, unconditional love. And the purpose of this podcast is to continue to help you become more self-aware so that you can learn to really love yourself, respect yourself, and unlock your greatness. And every single episode, I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to keep staying consistent. 2024 is going to be such a transformational year for all of us. And I can't wait to continue to support you and encourage you to keep pushing forward and persevering because I know that life is challenging and there's always challenges that happen every single freaking day. But 
have an open mind and know that it's not always going to be easy. Some days are going to be better than others, but it's most important for you to take the action upon yourself to continue to stay motivated, stay disciplined, stay focused and laser focused on the prize. Start with the end in mind and focus on what you want because what you want will continue to come closer to you as you keep taking action and moving forward. What you want wants you. I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. If you're ready to grow and reach your full potential and find inner peace, send me a DM that says, I want inner peace, and I'll send you the next steps. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. When you change your mind, you change your whole life. So don't hesitate and send that DM over to me. Myself and my team can't wait to meet you and witness your transformation in full glory. See you next week.